said that in concert, you would tell people, yes, I live alone. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, is that you don't. I do live alone. I have a love interest, but I this, he would not live with me. He says, you are crazy. <laughs> I'm going to my house, you stay at your house. Yes, I, I, I have someone very special in my life, mm -hmm. and we have just recently begun working together. He mm -hmm. came in on an emergency, and I, uh, very funny about who I trust touching my cash. Mm -hmm. And I knew this person to be an honest person in that area, as the last person was. But I didn't want to bring a stranger in. Mm -hmm. So he came in to help me out, and he just stayed. He likes to work. He's very good at it because of his prior management training and, and, and college education. Very good at it. And it has done wonders for our relationship mm -hmm. because I, I think twice before I say things, even though sometimes I forget, you know? Mm -hmm. I do, I forget. And uh, he, if it's way out of line, he will say something, but he also understands what boss means. And when we're working, that's what that is. And is this the one that you will take to the altar? Or is it necessary? He has made it fairly clear that he's not interested in being, getting married or having children. So well, you know, Mama is not going to go for that. <laughs> well, you know, I don't, I don't really relate to marriage very well or children, other than if they're yours or somebody else's. You know, my sisters. I love children, and maybe I will have children, but I kind of see a vision of me with adopted children, mm -hmm. going to foster homes where they're young black children who have had nobody for years, and not necessarily the little bambino, mm -hmm. but. Maybe a child that's 10, maybe even 15 years old, someone that's had no one to really love them and care for them and bring them in and let them see that there are people out there who care about them. There are people who have not had it so great. They can look through my whole life and see that it hasn't all been wonderful and that you have to work hard for things in life. Mm -hmm. You have to think positive. See, I didn't think positive throughout my life, but God did for me and so did my friends. Mm -hmm. That's what took me through the positive roadway, obviously, because if it was up to me, I'd been, you know, ringing the toilet handle. You know, mm -hmm. I'd have been right down the toilet bowl because I didn't think that way. Only through the grace of God and through the, the conscious thought of my friends and co-workers that this happened for me, I can only, I can only attribute it to that because I didn't, I didn't concentrate on the good things in my life. I really didn't. Mm. So marriage and kids are wonderful for somebody else.